In this video tutorial, we're going to show you how to use the web link feature in your publication. We're going to be working within the interactive panel in the design tab in the 3D issue software. Now before we begin, it's important to point out that any web addresses, phone numbers or email addresses that were in your original PDF are going to be automatically active links when the document has been imported into the 3D issue software. You will not have to activate each one individually. This feature is only required for additional web links you may wish to add. For example, you may already have buttons or graphics in the PDF such as enter our competition or download a free trial to which you would like to add an active link. Firstly, you must select the page on which you wish to place the web link within the publication. To do so, simply select the page from the thumbnail view presented on the right hand side of the screen. This web link feature will allow the end reader to jump to another web page outside of the publication. This will open the web page in a separate window. This would be particularly important for advertisements within the publication such as product promotions or upcoming events. It can be presented as a button on screen, as shown here. Next, you must enter the URL for the web address to which you want the reader to jump to when they click on this button. The button will appear on screen and you can resize it and reposition it easily. It can also be presented to the end reader as a hotspot. Move on to the page and click and drag the cursor to define the shape of the hotspot area whether on a graphic or a section of text. For further information, the advanced settings available for this button, please refer to the video tutorial explaining about the Go To Page button. Right, let's now review some of our changes we have applied in both adding a hotspot and a button in the web link feature. And that concludes this module on using the web link feature in your publication.